Okay, so now I've gone in, I've cleaned it up. The next stage is I want to show you um, how I use this uh, photo glue as a cheap form of liquid frisket or liquid masking it's called. So I've just put a bit here on the end of the card. You don't want to put much on because it'll dry really quickly because you want it to be quite liquidy. Now I've just got the edge of a cocktail stick. Now I've never done this with it being vertical so it might not work as well. Remember I drew those highlights. Sadly I can't zoom in anymore because it doesn't it doesn't focus my camera and I can't afford a new one. And then I'm just putting this putting these on, putting the blob on. See this is already starting to dry, that's how quick it works. So put a blob on there. And this is this highlight underneath here which I'm just going to do as one big kind of blob. Oops, that didn't work out so well. There you go, one big blob in case. Now this is very easy to take off later. And again, you don't want to leave it on for too long. You do your painting and then you take it off. As you can see, that's literally how I do it. Now, I'm using the end of that cocktail stick. Here's a little sort of bit of plastic that I've got. I can also use that if I want to, if I've got bigger areas. But I'm going to continue to do that. This bit, again, if they go, if it's too, slightly too big where the white is, it doesn't matter so much. I mean, later, you're going to be painting over these anyway, and then you're going to have to go back in with your electric razor or your pencil eraser and pull them out. And every time you put some layers on with your highlights, you go in and you use your erasers to go back to the white of the card. This just helps initially with um, keeping these white areas. And then when you do a layer over the top, and then you take maybe you do one or two layers and then you eventually take these bits of bits off the rubber off you've got the white underneath and then when you do another layer over the top of that it will always shine through so you can see where your highlights are always experiment with things before you dive in and go ahead the whole point of this is trying out new paint trying out new card trying out the the transfer technique and now trying out um, this glue photo mounting rubber glue. When you're doing this, I suggest, I'm doing this on the easel, like I said, for you guys, but I suggest you do this on a flat table. It'd be much easier to put the, um, the glue down and be a bit more accurate. Once you've put the glue on, which I've now done, I did it on the table, so on a horizontal, uh, once you've got it done, you have to let it dry. Make sure it's good and dry before you start painting over, over the top of it. So don't just put it on and start spraying straight away. I, I would leave it a good, a good uh, 10 to 15 minutes before you start. And another little tip is this. I put it on this card, if you remember, these gloves of glue. Well, it's, this isn't dry yet. But when, when, it's, when it's dry, you can take it off, roll it up into this little ball and then keep that because that will help you take it off and you can clean this card right up and get all that glue off and then when you want to take this off here you can use your little gumball and I've had these that have grown to be really quite big <laughs> these little gumballs and just very carefully just rub it it didn't damage the painting at all so that's a very good little tip don't forget to keep your gumball Okay, and you start off with your gumball by just using the bits of glue left over that have gone dry. Once it's gone dry, you just roll it up into a little ball. Bye, have fun!